I'm Michael Kaiser, and I'm president of the John F. Kennedy Center for the Performing Arts. The, the key one is that when arts organizations get scared about money, one of the first things they tend to do is to cut back on their art, either the quality or the quantity of their art. The assumption being, if we save money, we'll be okay. And the problem is, is that when you do less interesting art, and very frequently less interesting or less art is attached to less marketing, when you do those two things, the people who care about you, what I call your family, the donors, the volunteers, the ticket buyers, they tend to look elsewhere and they get bored. And particularly in time of recession, when they have, when they have less money to spend and they're making harder choices, they tend to gravitate towards the organizations that are more interesting and more daring. And so they tend to move away from the ones that are cutting back. And so the worst thing you can do as an arts organization facing financial challenge is to do less interesting, less special, less surprising art. And that's something that I think we have to really think about as we think about relevance of the arts to children. But one thing we do know that is true for every child is that those children who participate in the arts do better in reading and do better in math. And so as we start to worry about these test scores, we shouldn't ignore the arts. And secondarily, and very importantly, our economy is changing so dramatically. We're no longer a manufacturing economy. Less than 17% of our GDP comes from manufacturing. We are a creative economy. And if you ask any business leader, they'll say they need a workforce who can think, who can problem solve, who can be creative. Who better to start exercising those muscles of children than we in the arts? Because there's a sociological trend, which is that you tend to get introduced to the arts by your family and by school, traditionally. And many, many people who are interested in the arts from the ages of, let's say, 5 to 15, when they hit puberty, they stop their arts participation. They start dating, they start worrying about college or a career, they start a family. And between the ages of, let's say, 15 and 45, roughly, a lot of people are not active arts participants because they don't have a lot of discretionary time or a lot of discretionary money. Then when they get older, if they enjoyed them as a child, as they have more money to spend and less responsibilities around the home, they tend to come back to arts participation. And that's been true for a long time and in many countries. The challenge we have is that we now have generations of young people who aren't getting arts in the schools. And so we're concerned that we're now going to, 20 years from now, not have those 45 or 50 year olds coming into the arts because they never enjoyed them as children. And that's why we spend at the Kennedy Center and why I personally spend so much time worrying about arts education for children because I fear what's going to happen long after I'm running an arts organization.